When this two-year-old boy was crushed by a chest of drawers, his twin brother did something remarkable. Early in 2017, a dad posted a shocking video to Facebook. In it, his two-year-old twins were playing on a dresser in their bedroom. Unfortunately, the dresser fell as they climbed it and one of the boys was trapped underneath. But just then, his brother did something absolutely remarkable and no one could have predicted the outcome. Any responsible parent wants to know that their kids are safe. Father of three Ricky Shaw from Utah is no different. In fact, he works for Vivint Smart Home, a firm that actually produces home security locks and cameras that can be monitored from your phone. Of course, Shaw uses such a system to monitor his kid's bedroom. And it was this very monitor that alerted his wife Kaylee to a potentially serious problem one morning. At the time, their twin sons, two-year-olds Bowdy and Brock, were quiet in their bedroom. In fact, Kaylee believed that they were still asleep. However, when she checked the monitor on her phone, she saw a devastating sight. Yes, she noticed that the dresser in the corner of the room had fallen down. What's more, the twins were nowhere in sight. Panicked, she rushed out of bed into their room to see what was going on, only to be greeted with a sight of the brothers playing quietly together by their beds. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. The only clues the parents had that there was a problem were the fallen chest of drawers and Brock walking over to his mom saying, ouchie. Keen to find out what happened, Ricky and Kaylee replayed the video from the nanny cam. What they saw was shocking. When the two boys woke up that morning, they began playing in their room. Then, either something on top of the dresser caught their eye or the furniture suddenly looked like a makeshift climbing frame. Whenever it was, Bodie and Brock pulled out the drawers and began playing on the chest itself. Yes, as Brock lay on his belly across one of the drawers, Bodie started to climb the dresser. The freestanding chest then lurched forward and unable to take the weight of both boys fell to the ground. In a heart-stopping moment, it actually landed on top of the twins. Fortunately, Bodie was able to slide out from under the large dresser. Brock, however, was pinned to the floor. The furniture was too heavy for the toddler to wriggle free from under it. But spotting his brother in trouble, Bodie immediately did something quite remarkable. At the time, Mom Kaylee was upstairs, oblivious to what had happened and unable to hear her son crying. So instead of calling for Mom's help, Bodie took matters into his own hands. In fact, realizing his brother couldn't move, he started to push the chest of drawers. Unfortunately, the chest was far too heavy to be moved by a two-year-old. Indeed, it weighed more than 100 pounds and would have required two adults to lift it. At a loss as to what to do, Bowdy appeared to give up. But at this point, the bond between the twins seemed to take on a life of its own. Indeed, Bowdy began looking around him and then he stared at Brock. It was as if he was assessing the situation and trying to work out what to do next with no adults around to help. Then, Bodhi climbed up onto the fallen dresser. Brock, writhing around underneath, was still crying and clearly in distress, but what was Bodhi doing? He couldn't be thinking of playing on top of the dresser and crushing his brother, surely. Well, although his actions might seem confusing and possibly even dangerous, Bodhi was about to do something incredible. As Bodhi looked from one side of the chest of drawers to another, it appeared as though he was looking for a solution to the problem. After all, he knew his brother needed help, and he knew he can't move the dresser alone. Next, Bodhi ran around to the front of the dresser and looked on, apparently helpless. For ten agonizing seconds, the viewer might wonder if the toddler could even do anything to help. Perhaps the child was thinking the same, but Bodhi wouldn't give up without trying. In fact, Bodhi moved toward the dresser. At first, he tried to pull it off his writhing brother. Realizing this approach wasn't working, he quickly changed his tactics. With all the strength his arms could muster, he started to push the dresser. But surely this little person wasn't capable of shifting the hulking furniture, right? But finally seeing some movement in the chest of drawers, Bodhi was encouraged. He then put all of his weight behind his efforts to release his brother. In what seemed like a superhuman feat, the dresser began to move again, although not yet far enough to stop the chest from pinning Brock down. Incredibly, with one last almighty shove, the heavy dresser moved just enough so that Brock was able to roll out from underneath it. When mom saw what had happened, she told ABC News, My heart sank. I felt like the worst parent ever. Fortunately, though, Brock suffered no injuries. According to figures published in 2012, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission believed that falling furniture injures more than 25,000 children a year, and around once a fortnight the injuries prove fatal. This video then serves as a sobering reminder of the hazard of unanchored furniture. Posting the video to Facebook, the boy's dad wrote, I've been a little hesitant to post this, but I feel it's not only to bring awareness, but it is also incredible. We are so grateful for the bond that these twin brothers share. 
we know Bodhi was not alone in moving the dresser off of Brock. So Ricky and Kaylee Schaff are using their experience to highlight the importance of anchoring furniture. Interestingly, in December 2016, IKEA, the company that manufactured the boys' dresser, paid out $50 million to families of three children killed in similar incidents. The firm now provides safety anchors for the dressers free of charge to prevent further such occurrences. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.